caught in the crosshairs, a teen shot inside of her own home. Now the search for whoever opened fire. Where and when the heaviest rain will fall, breaking down the impacts headed toward morning. And it's the unique Midtown attraction that's taking visitors on a soaring journey through New York. And it might just move you to tears. New York Live's here with your ticket to Rise NY. Hey, what's up and welcome back. This is News for Now for June 8th. I'm Kay Ingram. Now first we start with another shooting. This time a teenager in Queens is recovering after being shot by a stray bullet in her own home. The 15 year old girl was hit in the leg by a bullet that was apparently fired outside of her home in St. Albans just after 11 p.m. Tuesday night. Police say that several rounds hit the house and that the one that wounded the teen came through the window. Now fortunately no one else in the house was injured. Uh, more than one shot, yeah, just like, a, you know, the fireworks, like a boom, 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 the sound like that. Hey, we bye. are surprised that in my neighbor, how come this happened? I have no idea because it's very quiet place, arrest them people, and a lot of crime is start now. I don't know what's going on. We're also told that the young victim was hit in the leg and should be okay. So far, there's been zero arrests. Also new, a group of men are now facing charges in a high dollar heist in Soho. And today we've got new video of how the smash and grab went down. All right, watch this. It's a robbery that happened a month ago. You can see here as four men rush into the Rebag Boutique on West Broadway. They use hammers to smash glass cases and grab whatever bags they could get. Customers and employees locked themselves in a bathroom as the men ran off with nearly $25,000 worth of merchandise. These guys were in and out in 27 seconds. All right, so switching gears here, cases of monkeypox are rising. And now there's a case outside of the New York City area. New York State is now up to nine positive cases. And for the first time, one of them is outside of the city in Sullivan County. More than 1,000 confirmed or suspected monkeypox cases are reported in at least 29 countries outside of where the virus is usually seen in Africa. But experts are insisting that it's rare and that you shouldn't be alarmed. As far as the general public um, having uh, a concern about catching it um, just from going to the supermarket or whatever the concerns were with COVID, it, it, it really should not be at that level. It's now, as we told you on Tuesday, the CDC raised the monkeypox travel alert to level two, urging people to practice enhanced precautions. But they quickly removed their advice to wear a mask, saying that was pretty confusing. Hi there, I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Maria La Rosa. And as we head into the evening hours, really not too bad. Temperatures are pretty comfortable, pretty mild into the upper 70s through 8 p.m. And then we'll start to see the clouds on the increase, but we stay dry through at least midnight. After midnight, a different story. We'll be watching showers and that heavy rain, even a few thunderstorms straight through 6 a.m. This is prime time commute time, so expect some ponding on the roadways at the very least, some flash flood concerns, maybe those smaller streams and creeks rising quickly as that heavy rain comes down. It does move out by the later part of the morning. However, again, most of the area at risk for some flash flooding and especially off to the southwest in and around the Philly area. If you're doing any traveling, we could be looking at conditions there a little bit uh, more treacherous with the heavier rain focused down there. But eventually by the afternoon, we do dry out. All right, listen up, because there's an exciting new attraction in Midtown that anyone who loves New York needs to experience. New York Live's here with a behind-the-scenes look at Rise NY. There's a new experience in Midtown that anyone who loves New York will love. Today, we're giving you a behind-the-scenes look at Rise NY. So Rise and Wine is a very unique attraction, something that the city hasn't seen uh, basically in forever. So it's a three-part experience. You start with a fantastic film created by documentarian Rick Burns and James Saunders. And then from there, you go into seven distinct museum galleries, finance, skyline, radio, television, fashion, music, Broadway, and film. These are the industries that shape New York City, and then in return, New York City shaped for the rest of the world. And then you end with our fantastic soaring ride over New York City. 
So we've made it to my favorite room, TV. That's right. This room is all about the tribute to television, not only based in New York, but filmed in New York City as well. So going down here, we have artifacts from Seinfeld, Sesame Street, recreations of the Honeymooners, and then we even have our own late night talk show set to pay tribute to all the late night talk shows that were filmed here in New York City and still are. Welcome to my late night show. So we've gone through all the galleries and now we're sort of approaching the grand finale. That's right, our main attraction here, the soaring ride over and through New York City. Obviously, through the pandemic, New York has been hit so hard, and it just like kind of, <laughs> it like makes you remember how special it is. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm getting emotional today, <laughs> but seriously, like, it, you, well done. A very odd reaction from me, but it just shows that was really cool. It's it's something that's special. It's something that I think the city de uh, deserves. And then, you know, in addition to the quality that we have here, it really is uh, an attraction for, for New Yorkers that was designed by New Yorkers. Yeah, like mm -hmm. any New Yorker would love that. Wiping tear, can we do it again? We absolutely can, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs>